Ooh, ooh, strange gorilla. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Minty here, bringing you the next rendition of our Diablo 2 challenge run of throwing weapons only. We are currently diving into Act 3. We pick up the Jade figurine and we head up to collect some dude's pieces of who knows what, honestly. Don't know what he deserved. But we pick up Kalim's eye, Kalim's brain, and Kalim's heart. Followed by a random flail that we merge together to become Kalim's will. We use the will, smash the orb so that we can get into the Durance of Hate. The Durance of Hate is Mephisto's stomping ground. We cleared out the area to make sure we are good. And then we, excuse me what, Ooh. I'm getting out of dodge. I'm running to town. I'm gonna stay out of there. I run back to Mephisto, finish him off with not too much effort off of that, seeing as my mercenary decided to hold his own this time around. And no more balls to the face. <laughs> After that, we head on over to Act 4 to begin our hunt of Diablo, the Lord of Terror. On our way, we happen to run into Izul. After about several hundred axes, he decides to go down. And then from here on out, we head into the River of Flame, where we fight some old guy who wants my soul for whatever reason. Kill him off. Take his hammer. And totally not make a unwarranted, embarrassing trip back to town. Come on through. Make the worst decision of my life to try and break the soul stone with all the enemies around. Hop back to town out of sheer terror for my life. Head on back. Break the stone. And make our way to Diablo's Royal Level Sanctuary. To get to Diablo, there is five seals that need to be broken. On the screen, we break seal one, seal two, seal three, seal four, and finally, seal five. Releasing the Lord of Terror himself, so that we can bring him to justice. We take on the Lord of Terror himself, Diablo. Overall, aside from killing my mercenary almost instantly. He doesn't put up too much of a fight, bringing the end to the Lord of Terror, Diablo himself. With that, Diablo face plants into the floor, eats dust, and opens up the way to Act 5. Act 5's main objective is to kill Bol, who is bent on the world's destruction. Now to prevent that, the first thing we need to do is take on the world's worst slave driver. I mean, seriously. With the pay they're getting, I'm surprised they call themselves enslaved, let alone work for this guy. Even demons deserve better work conditions, don't you think? I mean, they could at least include dental in the benefits. After that, we head on out to save our brothers from their various little slave camps. Slave drivers just don't end. But apparently, we're only 15 people. It's no wonder this place got a little overrun, 15 versus 10,000. Anyways, we rescue our friends, we rescue Anya, seems to be a trend with all the rescuing. Head on to Nutluck's temple, you know, revenge is sweet. Destroy the old guy who tried to take us out from the inside, who works for Bol anyway. And come to the realization that I made a terrible mistake. I don't have the waypoint to the frozen tundra. Fortunately, my boots were made for walking, and that's what I'm gonna do. I have quite a backtrack to do, backtracking through the crystalline passage, head into the glacial trail thinking it's the wrong way, run all around the crystalline passage realizing my mistake, and just to end up right back at the glacial trail where I started. Talk about embarrassing, but hey, for the content. Finally make my way to the area at summit, where I am ready to take on the three protectors and prove my worth to defeating Ball. The three ancients are not too bad, honestly. Um, initially it's a bit rough. We are a bit... I get surrounded repeatedly. They for some reason really enjoy my company over my mercenaries. But with a bit of luck and a bit of running around like a headless chicken, I managed to get Maddox 1v1ing me in a throwing battle, which I naturally come out on top for because Maddox is just a little squishy, and I'm a little strong barbarian. 
So let's just say with minimal effort he finally goes down and I am the extra champion of the world. After Maddox goes down, we can gladly make our way to Korlik, who's second in, in the squishy natures. Korlik has his back to me the entire fight. But lucky for me, him and Talek decided my mercenary is going to make for the best breakfast or lunch or dinner. I don't know what time they zone they think they're in. And just leave me be. Korlik goes down. Talek is left, and after a couple more thousand swings, Talek is doomed to see the light of darkness once again. Proving we are the champion. With that glorious victory, we're to head on into the throne of destruction for Bol. Before we can fight Bol, however, we have to head through waves of his minions, uh, which is rather annoying and tedious and painful. But each wave of minions represents a act that you have gone through. So act 1, the fallen and the shaman. Act 2, skellies and their mummified summoners. Act 3, which is council members. This was painful. They're so tanky and their hydras deal so much damage. I actually ended up kiting them down so I could take them on in more manageable chunks. Once I split them into smaller groups, they were quite easy. Next up was the Act 4 minions, which are the Venom Lords. Luckily, in my case, they turned on the mercenary, and that kept them from killing me. Up next is Act 5, Balls Minions. Or I like to call them Balls Balls. Ball pain and my testicles. They are tanky, they hit like a truck. And they really do show you who's boss when they surround you like a bunch of maniacs. But luckily for me, my mercenary held his ground for a whole 10 seconds. And then I had to run around until I managed to split them up into smaller groups. And finish them off, making the way for Bol himself. We follow Bol into his creepy mirror. Run into an accidental hentai situation. But joke's on Bol. I quite, I quite enjoy these situations. I turn my attention to Bol, who takes literal years off of my lifespan. Bol just did not want to die. He took hits like a champion. I'm actually going to put a timer on the screen how long it took. But in the end, with many, many, many trips to the town, buying potions, buying everything, respawning my mercenary. He goes down, bringing an end to his plans to destroy the world, and bringing an end to this faithful journey of a throwing weapon only barbarian on Players 8 Hardcore. If you have any suggestions for future challenge runs that you would like to see, let me know down in the comment section, and let me know what you would like to see next.